like I say, I've continuously found that my faith in God and me learning myself more each day mm -hmm. has allowed me to grow in a lot of different ways. And I mean, not just in my look, but just in who I am. And I'm thankful. With Monica is known for her personal style and always switching up her hair. Yet she maintained a relatively conservative style compared to her peers in the industry. She attributed this to growing up in church and having a God-fearing mother who she didn't want to disappoint. She still experimented with fashion and occasionally pushed boundaries, but she is an example of an artist that can be sexy with their clothes on. Monica is known for being just as hood as she is classy. Monica, a lot of people look at you and they see the physical presence. You are a beautiful woman, an accomplished woman, but then they hear about the ex-boyfriend who's in jail on a murder charge, mm -hmm. the former boyfriend who committed suicide, and they can't put the two together. Well, they don't try. Don't try. Accept me for who I am. You know, learn from my experiences. Don't use me as an excuse to further mess up your life or do things wrong because you say I did it. Use it as a reason to change it. As she has matured over the years, many have commended her for being a wise soul who doesn't typically engage in foolishness. In many of her so-called beefs with other celebrities, she has always taken the high road. She had a fallout with Sierra in 2014. This was shortly after Sierra broke up with Future, the father of her son. Sierra made some cryptic tweets around this time, believed to be directed towards Monica. She was allegedly mad at Monica for being friends with Future's side chick. This ended their 20 year friendship. In an interview, Monica clarified the situation. The Sierra Future and Russell Wilson thing. Mm -hmm. Now I remember you guys used to be, I don't know if you guys were best friends or tight or cool. You guys we still were friends? We were very close. My um, brother and her were childhood friends. Okay. And I just looked at her like a sister. Um, I've read all kind of stuff. That is absolutely not true. She and I did have a disagreement. We both had issues with each other. When you've been friends for a long time, almost two decades, mm -hmm. and you let things fester and you don't talk about them, it can cause a breakdown that other people may not understand. Mm -hmm. I love her. I read something that I didn't tell her about somebody cheating. None of that stuff is true. They say I was friends with somebody he was cheating with. None of that is true. I am friends with one of the mothers of one of future children, but it's the mom that you never see, that you never hear, um, that Sierra is also has a good relationship with. Yeah. So a lot of the stuff you read is very untrue. Nothing that happened with us had anything to do with him. We just should have spoken about different issues long before it got to the point that it did. But for me, the love is always gonna be the same. The support is always the same. In 2017, Monica was accused of being messy when Sierra posted a picture of her son, Baby Future, wearing his hair in a cornrowed mohawk. Monica was caught liking a comment, criticising Sierra's choice of style for her son. The comment also poked fun at Blue Ivy's hair, Beyonce's daughter. Monica claimed it was an honest mistake and that she had accidentally liked the comment. As for Brandy, Monica has always spoken highly of her and denied any real beef between them. Although she did admit their fans fueled rivalry between them during the Boy Is Mine period. So was the Boy Is Mine based off a true story? Because I heard it was actually real issues between y'all after that record was recorded. We didn't well, we even know really each other until we, uh, boy, no. of course not a <laughs> dude. But, um, we didn't we didn't know each other and what happened was they do the same thing that they do now with the rappers or females like they kind of create it first mm -hmm. and we were young enough to just fall into the trap so we didn't like each other we didn't communicate we didn't perform the record um, outside of the one time on the MTV Awards we never even wanted to be in each other's presence for yeah. many years because they pitch you against each other they do it they, they, they so, still do it I so, mean but at 16 and, and 17 mm -hmm. let's be clear though at 16 and 17 that was one thing but at these ages that's unacceptable there were reports of a fist fight during the rehearsals for the 1998 Video Music Awards. It was alleged punches were thrown after the rehearsal, 
which allegedly resulted in a black eye for Monica. They strongly denied this rumour and pictures of them praying together, holding hands and singing were soon leaked. New York Daily News reporter Marcus Barham, who originally reported the story, stood by what he had written. Monica would later admit to the physical altercation years later on the Angie Martinez show when promoting their second collaboration. Monica released her eighth studio album, Code Red, in 2015, 20 years after her debut Miss Thang. She said it was a combination of classic 90s R&B and today's popular music. The album reached number 27 on the US Billboard 200. She also toured for the first time in years. The tour was called the Code Red Experience. However, more drama occurred in recent years, two decades after they worked together on their Grammy award-winning single. In 2016, Brandy was asked by a fan if she was participating in the So Gone Challenge, an internet challenge on Monica's 2003 hit. Tried to leave, but you know the way that you learn best is leaving out the garage and getting hit with that U-turn text. So if you got a girl and she's sexy and she's grown, stay your ass at home for you end up all alone. To which she replied, child bye. Of course the blogs and fans took this as a diss against Monica. But as always, Monica had a classy response. There was a fan that um, sent uh, a tweet to Brandy and asked her, you know, would you do the So Gone Challenge? And she said, child, bye. <laughs> now, you know, it wouldn't be the real if we didn't ask you. How do you feel about that? I'll tell you the real. I'm not bothered at all. <laughs> That's right. I am, uh, you know, I'm, this is what I always say. You, <laughs> honestly, um, the old me and the new me are two different things. Mm -hmm. And this journey of self-progression and self-love and empowerment that I'm on, I can't go backwards. I, I think that that was just a test from God for me. Mm -hmm. And I've always thought that she was one of the most legendary people and uh, has one of the most amazing voices and her runs and riffs. And I just think that it's some of it's been blown out of proportion to a degree, oh. but I can't tell my kids to do something that I can't do. Mm -hmm. wow. So it was just a test for me to uh, always just take the high road and know that in anything that happens in this life, if it's meant for you, it's yours. Nobody yeah. can stop it or stand in the way of it. So I wasn't bothered at all. Yeah. Would you would you work with Brandy again though? Yes. Because, I mean, I would work with her again. It's never been an easy situation, but the reason that I would do it is because we are from a special elite group. It was her, mm -hmm. Aaliyah, and myself. Mm. And it was a very special time where each of us were individuals, we did our own thing, and we all made our own mark. And the truth and reality is the only Grammy either of us has is together. So that wow. to me says something special. Wow. So yeah, I absolutely would. So I think y'all yeah. need to get back together, Brandy. Okay, she's been <laughs> on the show before, she know us, okay? After what was said on the reel, Brandy made a cryptic post on Instagram. The hashtags were the most telling part of the post. They referred to a person being fake or faking positivity, which was what Monica was praised for after her appearance on The Real. Whether she was addressing Monica or not, and I believe she probably was, the post only fueled speculation of beef between the two, even if it was one-sided. They were compared in every way, from their vocals to their looks. The two have very different personalities. Brandy is more reserved and laid back, whereas Monica is more outspoken and forthright. To be honest, I think the two just have different personalities that sometimes clash. Monica may irk Brandy sometimes. Take a look at this Breakfast Club interview in 2012 when they were promoting their single. People nowadays, there was one point where it was like, Ray J was Brandy's brother right but now people like to say you're ray j's sister is that well either you? either way it's, it's true. true it's the truth that's <laughs> very true yeah, yeah like i don't i don't have a problem at all with that like i love being ray j's sister charlamagne i, I want you to meet my, my brothers uh-oh yeah, you know what they're gonna do to you right no not, <laughs> Jump no, no, no 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 i'm saying i'm saying it because i could tell he liked to have fun like he just he really i think it i think she's nervous because she know he says whatever but right. i say whatever yeah, I'm too, so i like yeah gotten a little bit stronger in that area when people try to go to that place but you know for the most part I use Twitter to 
to socialize with the people that do love me mm-hmm. and that do support yeah. me. And, you know, I have this this thing on my page called Brandoms and they're like random brandy thoughts. And I just tweet positive things to to I tell you what my dad told day. me. Huh? You, my dad is from the country. You know that already. Yeah. But he tells <laughs> me like these crazy. He'll call me and he'll tell me like some great sayings to keep with you that are just like very, very. I mean, they're they, they, they're broken down so perfectly. He told me, he said, um, maggots can't live unless they're feeding off something. And I'm and I'm grateful for mm-hmm. Behind the Music because people get a chance to hear it from me. Because right. so many people create their own stories about what you've gone through and their own opinions. And, and Why is that not he- illegal? <laughs> Don't you think <laughs> it, that yeah, should, it should be, be illegal? No, it's great I, to hear I, it from I me. Agree. Don't you think it's that? Don't but you it's, think it's, it should be illegal? Especially think, with the blog. They should be able to just to make stuff up like that. Yeah, that should be illegal. But that would be a whole process of you having lawyers nonstop trying to work on yeah. that. You know, have to- Their second collaboration was another duet in 2012. It All Belongs to Me. This was a positive song about sisterhood and putting friendship before guys. A stark contrast to the boy is mine. The theme of that song actually fed into the rumours of their rivalry. But It All Belongs to Me was meant to have the opposite effect. Their second duet was also the same year that Whitney Houston died. The two seemed to bond over the loss of the singer, and they were actually together when they found out the news. No, but you guys are all going through a lot right now. Now, I know you said for the title of your new album, it's a tribute to uh, Whitney Houston. Absolutely. And to your birthday. That must have been a horrible day for you to celebrate your birthday on a day that there was somebody no that you're very close to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, I didn't celebrate at right. all. You know, I, it, it was just a really weird day. It was difficult for the both of us. And I was actually happy that Monica was right there. We mm-hmm. just, we shared that moment together and... It was just tough. It was very tough, and it still is tough. It comes in waves, you know. I heard y'all got the phone call together, and it was like, said Monica passed out, and I, I fell out. I don't want to say passed out. Fell Yo, out. Monica will F you up. You see how she looks at I'm you? Just saying what I heard. Whitney was a mentor to both Monica and Brandy. However, the tragedy also caused more tension between the two years later. In 2017, around the time that would have been Whitney Houston's birthday. Brandy seemed to throw shade at Monica yet again for a tribute she posted for Whitney on Instagram. Monica's message simply read, Happy Heavenly Birthday, Nippy. You still inspire many and touch hearts daily. You will forever be the greatest. You will forever be missed. Brandy appeared to try to wind up Monica and posted a video of her singing The Greatest Love of All. Happy birthday. You live on in me, and no one on this planet loves you the way I do. Yeah, I said it, because that is what I know, because that is what you told me. She was dragged on Twitter for her post which many thought was more about her than Whitney. Brandy blamed Monica for the hate she received online and told her to check her fans. Monica really needs to check her evil ass fans, she fumed in the comments. It's so much stuff I can post about hateful things they say to me, but I will never have the time to do that. Always thinking something is about her, it's not. They're low-key Brandy fans anyway. No doubt, Brandy and Whitney were close. They starred in Cinderella together, and you could see the bond between them. Brandy did claim that Whitney was her mentor and passed on her torch to her. Mysteriously, in 2012, just two days before Whitney was found unresponsive in a hotel room bathtub, Whitney interrupted a promotional interview with Brandy, Clive Davis and Monica and handed Brandy a note. Till this day, Brandy refuses to say what the note said. Whitney was a mentor to Monica too, and she referred to her as her fairy godmother. Whitney helped her 
through what she described as the most tragic year of her life. She pulled up and she said, where's Monica? I know y'all know. Tell me where she is. Where's she? Where's she? Which one of these doors? And, <laughs> and she used to always say, you know, you're just like me. You know, she used to tell me that a lot. And she was there for me at a very hard time when I was 18 years old. And I, I, I went through these deaths back to back. My grandmother, the person I was dating, everybody, mm -hmm. three, three in a row. Mm -hmm. And I was just broken. And she started, she came to Atlanta and she came where she came. Right. It was that you got to love somebody if you pull up where she pulled up on me. And she came and looked like the president was coming. It was like four trucks, all black <laughs> security jumping out. And she's like, hey, I know you know where Monica is. Show me where she is. And people were like screaming and running in circles. What? But she stayed with me for quite some time and just reminded me that, you know, you can get through this and be very careful of who you're around. And I learned. Of course, almost 20 years later, Brandy still seems to be throwing shade here and there. Hopefully 2019 will see an end to any beef between the two. To be honest, it appears to be Brandy instigating a lot of the issues between them. She doesn't hesitate to throw shade at any given opportunity, but who knows what has gone on behind the scenes. She may have had her reasons. Like I said before, the two have very different personalities and it's likely that they just clash from time to time. Monica has excelled in fashion, acting and presenting. When she was on The Real, many fans demanded she became a permanent co-host. I feel like this election has also given way to a lot that was already there, clearly, mm -hmm. but it was hidden. So what this election has done has made people that are comfortable with racism and things of that nature, who initially felt like, okay, I'll keep that to myself yeah. or amongst my core group. Exactly. It has now become widespread yeah. and accepted. Mm -hmm. And I think that through these types of conversations and these, um, the recognition that there is a problem, that means that we must unify. We can no yes. longer ignore what has to be done. Mm -hmm. We must unify because now people that have never used the term minority have realized they are one. Right, right. And for wow. so long, a lot of people that were part of the minority, myself included, um, a lot of times we knew, we grew up understanding, mm -hmm. having a grandmother raised in Noonan, Georgia. Okay, just not, tell it. Yeah. It got really real and stayed that way for a long time. We're having children now that can go to a school where my mother was not allowed to use their water fountain. Mm -hmm. You realize that some change has happened, but not yet enough. Right. And you have these amazing groups of people that haven't had a reason to speak. Mm -hmm. Now we all got a reason to speak. Exactly. Right. Because when you, exactly. when you don't, um, I tell my kids this, if you don't contribute to the solution, you're a part of the problem. Mm -hmm. That is in that. silence as well. She is now appearing on Tiny and T.I.'s new reality show, T.I. and Tiny, Friends and Family Hustle. Monica had her own reality show that featured her ex, Rocco the Don, called Still Standing. It had one season from 2009 to 2010. So far, Monica's appearance on Tiny's show has been met with enthusiasm. People always love to hear what she has to say. Let's see what she does this year. She has continued to have an interest in life and is now focused on raising her beautiful children and enjoying her marriage to her NBA star. She has evolved from a young girl from a rough neighborhood in Georgia to an accomplished, classy young wife and mother. In terms of music, over the last couple of years, Monica has toured with other artists. She toured with Xscape in 2017 Tamar Braxton was also on the tour, despite unfollowing Monica on Instagram the previous year. After she was fired from The Real, 
She even claimed that Monica didn't like her. More silly beef that once again Monica doesn't appear to engage in. She is now currently touring this year. So check out her dates. What is your favourite Monica song? Share below in the comments. Thanks for watching, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos.